of God, another time to be in his presence, another moment to lift the name of the Lord, huh? another time to say, yes, you are God and there is none like you, another time to worship him, another time to lift him up, another time to say, thank you, Lord. Another time to say we appreciate you, Lord. We appreciate you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We worship the name of the Lord tonight. We thank you for how far you have brought us. We give all the praise and the honor tonight. We love the Lord. We love the Lord. Others trust in chariots, others trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord. Others put their trust in other things, but we trust in the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord tonight. Hey, you have been too faithful, Lord. You have been too faithful. You've been too faithful, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all that you do. We can thank you enough, Lord. Adios, Shakadabade. Ah, Ari, Ongongwa Juma. Hey, Kado, Shakadabadi, Kado, Shakadabadi, Adabadaba. You are faithful, Lord. You are faithful, Lord. Not to any man, but to you alone, Lord. You are faithful, Jehovah. You are faithful, Jehovah. Yakadabadosha, padabadabadosha. Hey! Hey, Ogasio. Hey, Ogasio. Yeah, that was it. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know how to thank you, Lord. I don't know how to appreciate you. You are too faithful, you are too faithful, you are too faithful. Hey! Ah! Oh! Kado, Sadibade, Kadavados! 
so we can talk i welcome all of you god bless everyone for joining me tonight i say good evening to everyone on the platform you are a blessing you continue to be a blessing may god continue to lift you up may you be favored in every aspect of your life may the hand of god be lifted for you may god give you all the your heart desire, may every heart desire come to pass in the name of the Lord Jesus. Tonight, we have met once again to share together, to pray together, to thank the Lord for this fire has brought us. It's just by his grace. It's just by his mercies. It's just by the grace of God that we are still alive and we are still kicking. I want to share something with all of us. I sang the, the song, the last one. I said, me hunu, me hunu. We don't know what to, what to give to you, God. To, to, to appreciate your love. Thank you so much, Oswa. I love you too. God bless all of you. K 
keep sharing for other people to join wake them up tell them it's time to hear the word of god let me say this to you let me say this to all of you and um, god bless you for this far for standing for joining me every time i come live and all that may jehovah favor you hey josephine from bengum god bless you so much my classmate god bless you i'm grateful that sometimes when we come live we get some of the people that we knew i'm, I'm honored and i'm grateful thank you for joining me i'm so blessed to have you here and i'm so blessed to have all of you join me tonight if it's not god that touches your heart you won't come here so I, I don't take it for granted. I'm grateful and I want to say thank you all Lord, just for all the love, just for all the support, everything. I'm so grateful. I'm so honored. As August is about to come to an end, I pray that September will bring a new chapter in your life. Where that chapter you see miracle testimonies, you shall be revived, you shall be restored. The Lord shall double every blessing in your life. Whatever has delayed, Jehovah will bring speed over your life. Thank you so much. Thank you. More grace. Thank you. More grace to all of you too. Thank you so much. I want to read something from Joel chapter 2. The Lord help us tonight. The verse 12. Let me just read from the verse 12. Therefore, also now says the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Can we all listen to it and learn? But when I finish reading, I'm going to say something. Sarah, God bless you too. I'm also happy to have you, my dear. He said, therefore also, he said, therefore also now, says the lord turn ye even to me with all your heart with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and render your heart and not your garment and turn unto the lord your god for he is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness and repented him of the evil who knows if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, and call a solemn assembly. Gather the people and sanctify the congregation. Assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. And let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thy heritage to reproach, that the hidden should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Tonight, I want us to talk about where is their God. There are people asking, where is your God? There are many people asking, where is your God? Because when they see anything or everything around you, there's nothing that proves you have a God. There are people you have showed love. There are people you have opened doors. There are people you give them opportunity and privileges and they think they have a right and therefore they want to sometimes you keep on asking yourself questions you regret giving some people opportunities in your life there's some people that they are, they've come into your life or give opportunity in your life and the same people stand afar and they ask where's your God because they see your fall they've seen that things are not working in your life and therefore they think you have no God listen there are people that have helped you before. People that stood with you before. It's when you read Joel, where I am reading from, he said, no matter what you have done, no matter where you have fallen, run back to God. He's going to wash, he's going to cleanse from, from babies to, to the oldest. He's going to wash, he's going to cleanse you. Because there are people that are asking, where is your God? 
There are people that keep on asking, show us your God. Because if indeed your God is with you, why then do you suffer like this? He said, now turn to me with weeping, with fasting, turn to me. I want to speak to somebody that is weeping and mourning because of betrayal, weeping and mourning because of the situation you find yourself, weeping and mourning because of your own mistakes you have done. And you think God cannot help you again. You are crying and telling God it has come to an end. That's the same thing Elijah did. He said, Father, kill me because I am the only prophet left. Sometimes the people you die for, the people you open your house for, you open opportunity for them. They think they are equal with you. They think they can compare themselves with you. They compete with you. They say things against you. They do things against you. They wish you were dead. They say people, you give them water to drink. They say people. Now turn back and they stop you and they say there is no God in your life. Because... That you are nowhere now. Because maybe you are down today. Maybe things are not working for you today. Maybe everything has gone wrong in your life. I just came to let you know. Do you have a God? If you have a God, then run back to this God. Run back to Joshua and Mashiach. Cry unto this God. It doesn't matter what has happened. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter where you find yourself. Encourage yourself and run back to God. Tonight, I just want somebody to say to him or herself that I am bouncing back again. I want somebody to say to him or herself, this situation will not remain like this. There is going to be a change and the change is tonight. I want somebody to tell yourself, I will not die with this sickness. I will live because God has said I will live. I want somebody to tell yourself, I will not die in this poverty. Jehovah will pay the way for me. I want somebody to tell yourself that this situation will not kill me, but it will be a testimony to me. I want to speak to you tonight. Let's all share this tonight. There are many people in so many situations. So many situations that you feel as if there's no tomorrow again. But I just want you to know. You have a God and your God will prove to them that he is faithful God. So let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. And let them say, spare thy people, O Lord. And give unto thing heritage to is that what give nothing heritage to the reproach father don't allow the enemy to mock at us not because of our mistake jehovah you give our heritage you give what is ours to the enemy father don't let the enemy celebrate over our downfall don't let the enemy rejoice over what has happened to us today father turn back and have mercy upon your children Father, turn back and look upon your children again. Let the mercy speak for my sister or my brother. Speak for somebody that is giving up. Let that mercy speak for you. Anything that has gone wrong, tell yourself, I am coming back again. I am going to restore back again. I'm taking what is mine back again. I will be fulfilled back again. I shall recover all back again. Whatever they took from me, I, I will not die like this. I am recovering all in the name of the Lord. Somebody tell somebody right now. Say it to yourself. I love the verse 18. Then would the Lord be jealous of his land and pity his people. May the Lord pity his people tonight. May the Lord pity you and I tonight. May the Lord be jealous of us and run back and save us from the hands of the enemy. Hey, they thought they have finished you, but go and tell them you are bouncing back. They thought that situation would destroy you, but go and tell them that situation has come as a testimony to you. Yeah, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil. And ye shall be satisfied therewith. And I, 
and I will no more make you a reproach among the hidden. Hey, the Lord said today he will not make you, you, you will not be an approach to any enemy again. They that were mocking at you, the Lord said, I'm going to give you corn. I'm going to give you maize. I'm going to give you oil. I'm going to bless you every side of your life. Anywhere you shall step. Those that said you will not ever make it again. Those that mocked at you, those that are speaking against you, those that think they have done it and there's no hope in your life again. The Lord said, I'm about to restore you again. You're going to recover again. You're going to take what is yours again. You're going to bounce back again. You're going to get your health back again tonight. Somebody that they pronounce curse on you. Every spell in the atmosphere. Somebody that thinks there's no hope again. Somebody that's taking your place. Somebody that's taking what is yours. The Lord said it's about to restore you and you're going to recover it all tonight. I love the word of God.